I can't remember the details, but I'm still in touch with that feeling that my childhood was coming to a close. It started when the bottom of the built-in cupboard in our sitting dining room, which was where my toys were kept, was repossessed by other household items, including the pungent kit for cleaning boots, and my toys had been spirited away. I wasn't ready for this station of the cross. Many years later, I discovered this is a common sensation, and that many kids, especially from homes with more storage space than ours, would keep their toys for life. Though I never saw the point in a bear, to be fair, then or now. Some people's toys even survived in pristine boxes. How that was possible, I couldn't imagine. Some of mine came wrapped at Christmas without their boxes, my dad having bought the toy unboxed at work from mates with older kids. Christmas? You were lucky. We never had they. This is Brian Patton's Where Are You Now, Batman? Requested by my chum, Chris Norman. Where are you now, Batman? Where are you now, Batman, now that Aunt Harriet has reported Robin missing and Superman's fallen asleep in the sixpenny childhood seats? Where are you now that Captain Marvel's Shazam echoes round the auditorium? The magicians don't hear it, must all be deaf or dead. The purple monster who came down from the purple planet, disguised as a man, is wandering aimlessly about the streets with no way of getting back. Sir Galahad's been strangled by the incredible living trees, Zorro killed by his own sword. Black Hawk has buried the last of his companions and has gone off to commit suicide in the disused hangars of innocence. The monster and the ape still fight it out in a room where the walls are continually closing. Rocket Man's fuel tanks gave out over London. Even Flash Gordon's lost, podgy and helpless, he wanders among the stars, weeping over the robots he loved half a universe ago. My celluloid companions, it's only a few years since first I knew you, Yet something in us has already faded. Has the terrible fiend, that ghastly adversary, Mr. Old Age, caught you in his deadly trap and come finally to polish you off, his machine gun dripping with years? Jump right out of the frying pan, right into the fire. Now I've had me a cheating man, and I've had me a lie. Left the city, what a pity, cause now the country's bringing me down. I jump right out of the frying pan, right into the fire, and right into the fire. 